Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're Samurai Man, and today we have the Shuriken Sentai Ninja. We're gonna go ahead and create the Shuriken Jin King, or King Shuriken Jin actually. So it's gonna be the combination of Bison King and Shuriken Jin. We're gonna go put them together. So, this is gonna take a couple steps. We're gonna start by removing the headpiece. Put that off to the side for now. Remove the arms. And then we're just gonna be left with the body. For sure, Kenjin. We're gonna go ahead and put them off the side, but that's what you want. And then just take all the pieces. And then Bison King is just gonna explode into every piece he can, cause he he's just they they really take a pay take there. They really take apart every component on him. So just start removing pretty much everything. Take it all apart. There you go. This two. This part two. With the legs in half, yeah, you're gonna have everything Bison King, you just pieces. He's in chunks and pieces. You even wanna take this off. There you go. You can leave your Rodeo Maru, you can leave him in place there, but you need to take the, the top helmet off. So there you go. Everything's in shambles, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start by taking the legs and pretty much flipping them around and having them set up like they are in the, the I guess, what do you call it? ATV mode. And you can see on the legs, they have two different color shuriken logos. There's the pink, and then there's that's supposed to be like the white, but they did in like a silver, just because if they did white on white, you wouldn't see it. But that's to indicate which leg goes where. So obviously, you take your shuriken jin, and you put with this little tab right there, you're going to put it on the pink foot. And the tab's actually angled, so that way the foot will be angled when you put it on, which is good, so that way you'll get a proper stance. There you go. Snap it right in, take the white foot, and snap it in as well, there you go. So already he's grown quite a bit, he is quite large, so yeah, still got all these chunks everywhere. Next we'll go ahead and take the arms, we'll take the blue arm here, and we'll take this, I think this is the right arm, what you want to do is you want to, there's a little tab right here on the inner shoulder, that's where you peg the shoulders in like that, you want to take this. And flip it out, and it's actually a giant fist. That actually is a cool looking fist. Rotate the arm like that, and this is the, actually the other arm. So, where's the hand I need? Oops, things, things everywhere. There we go. So, take this one, flip out the fist, rotate that back, and you want to have it like. Did I do it backwards? Did I have it right the first time? Ah, son of a shepherd, I had it right the first time. It is like this. Yeah, there you go. So you want to take this, and it, it, it slides on just like the weapon uh, peg. You want to have it just like that. It works exactly the same. So you can have it like that. We'll put that off the side for a sec, and then take the other arm, and go ahead and do the same thing. There you go. So now we got both the arms ready to go as soon as everything's ready. Next, actually, we'll bring in back our Shuriken Jin. And we're going to take this block here that was on the, the Bison King, and we're going to put it on the back here. There are two little peg holes on the thighs, or, or the hips of Shurikenjin, and there's two little tabs on Shurikenjin's waist also that'll peg right into this. And what that does is it just keeps it solid and locked in, so that way, because we're going to stack a bunch of stuff on top, that way the weight doesn't really like make the legs shift or anything. So that's what that's for. That's just to keep everything locked together and solid. So we got that going. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll take this piece here. This is Bison King's torso, or like his chest. And you're going to go ahead and tab that in right here if I can find it. Where's the tab section? There we go. So tab it in like that. So now we got his upper body going like that. Now we can take the arms and tab them into the Bison King's torso section, his, his whole upper body section. There you go. And it's starting to get pretty chunky up there. Next, we'll take this bit here. The, yeah, you want to flip, you want to take, this was the, basically the saddle of Rodeo Maru's Bison King. Flip up this chunk here. Now we've got a cool looking face. Keep Rodeo Maru up there like that. And go ahead and tab this in. There you go. It's all tabbed together. Just keep them like that. You can see. Now he's got a really cool looking face. We'll go ahead and take the Shurikenjin. This Shuriken, instead of putting Rodeo Maru's Shuriken on top of it, you will put Shurikenjin. So there you go. And there you go. And I mean, 
He still makes the same noise as before. It's nothing different as the Shuriken noise. And we're not done yet. We gotta get taller. So you can see King Shuriken Jin is getting quite large. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the, let's see, this section here, the bull face. And once you had it like this, now you're going to go and rotate it like this. So you have the Ninja logo because you got two of them. You want this one facing up so the horns are upward. And you're going to tab this. It's going to just connect straight on. Actually, no. I'm going to take this. Let's see how did I have it before. Like this. Okay. So you want it like this. And then you're going to tab these sections. They're going to lock into their little spring loaded pieces onto the shuriken. So take this. And there you go. Got that going on great. Now we take the Bison King Shuriken and tab it in here, and this is where the cool part happens. Nice little sound and dance and all that. I think you're saying like Reshai Ninja or something? I don't know. Kind of hard to understand, but BAM! We got it all connected. And then it just says King Shuriken Kenji with some sounds. And let's see if I can get a better, hopefully I can get a, like, more of this guy in frame because he is quite large. So there's King Shuriken Kenji. He is super tall. You can see he is very, very tall because now we've added the Bison King's feet. You just lay them out flat. They created kind of like a turbine thing going on in the back here. That looks pretty cool. I do like that. I like how you can see it's very flat for the most part. Like... Usually on these giant com combination mechs, they're very, like, there's pieces everywhere. And that might be the case when we put everything together, once we get everything that we have. But as far as just the Six Ranger and the, the main Megazord go together, nothing's really too, you know, expanded. Obviously, you can see this bull is a little far forward for my taste. It's a bit awkward. But when you look at it dead on, it's not that bad. It, it looks pretty cool, actually. So yeah, that, that looks awesome. I really do like that. So, and I love the chunkiness of the hands. You can see now he's got these really big old blocky hands. That looks really great. So the size isn't bad. I think this is a good size. Also, I like the fact that Bison King's, his chest really is really wide. So that really helps with the rest of the body. It doesn't feel like, like it's too f small in the center and then the arms get bigger. I like how using Shuriken's body, or Shuriken Jin's body, it's kind of like... The stomach area is kind of smallish, and then when we get to Bison King's body, it gets really expanded, so the shoulders and arms feel like they're well proportioned. They don't feel like they're too small or too big. The proportions on this guy are surprisingly well done, so I do like that. Now bringing in the weapons here, we've got the Bison King shotgun thing, and then we've got the Shuriken Jin sword. We're just going to go and take the, the sword hilt and then put it into the barrel of the shotgun, just like that. And it kind of lines up. You can see how it goes like that. That's making a very cool sword. Next, this is actually what makes it look really awesome. Is you can take the wing bits here and then tab them into the side. And now we've got a really cool looking sword. And then the, the Bison King shotgun does have a handle right there. You can see so he can hold his sword. Hopefully I can get a good pose of him holding the sword. And let's see. Not a bad looking weapon. It's very long now. It, it, the proportions of it are, are nicely done because they did it in this style where they had the shotgun and the sword combined. So not bad looking. So you can see the sword in its full force. It looks really cool. That is a nice looking blade. I do like that. Just be careful because it can get a bit droopy with the fist because it is a big chunky fist holding onto the littler fist or the smaller fist. That's the proper word. So that's how the connection is. So it might droop a little, but it's not that bad. But that is a cool looking sword. So taking a quick look at King Shuriken Jin's face, it looks amazing. I really do like it. They have this blue here that matches up with Rodeo Maru's blue. And they even sculpted it to look like his hands, like he's holding on to the front. Because I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to look like in the show, is that it's supposed to be Rodeo Maru there. But they kind of cheated a little. But not that big a deal. I like the red on the, the sides of his face. It looks like a mask, but like a... Like, uh, feathery mask. I definitely get that vibe and it looks like here this is like a feathery headdress and it lines up here with the chest here. I'm assuming they're going for like a Native American feel to it where they, they had the ninja, they had the cowboy and now they have like a Native American type you know robot. I'm guessing that's what they're going for. It's kind of totem pole-esque with the headdress and all that but I'm not really sure but if that is the case awesome. I like that idea. I really like how the red shuriken fits in. You can see this, this gold piece is from the, the 
Shurikenjin's uh, headdress, and now it just perfectly fits in with the King Shurikenjin's face. I like how they did that. That's very creative. And then again, I like how they have the horns here and all this for King Bison. That looks really cool. Again, if they could have compressed it a little more so it wouldn't be quite as far out, but still not bad. But overall, a great figure, and I really do like it. So guys, overall, this is looking up to be a great line of figures. I do like the toys that are coming out for the Ninja, Ninja line. There's a lot more to come. There's about one, two, three more that I could think of that are coming out. Uh, I think there might be one more after that, just based on past experience. I think they might have one more Zord. I could be wrong. There might be just three left. If you count, if we're counting the three, the first three that we have being Pao Maru, UFO Maru, and Surfer Maru, if we're just counting those three, I think there could be one more. Right now we have the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur Maru. I don't know what they call Dino Maru. I'm not sure what they're calling him, but there's that one. Then we have, I think it's the movie one. I could be wrong, but I think it's the movie Megazord where we have all six of them together as one main Megazord. You got him coming out. Then we've got the big one, the main big one for the series where it's their, their, the last one they unlock, and it's the, the most powerful Zord in the mix, and they have a giant combination with that. That guy's coming out. He's a giant lion. He looks awesome. I can't wait to get him as well. So there might be one more after that. I'm not 100% sure. Usually it's the big ones, the last one, so that, that might be the case. That probably is the case, but like I said, we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, as well as follow me on Tumblr and Twitter at Vacation. And Instagram at Mac is a Heart. You'll find all my pictures, recent purchases, who's making what, what's coming out, little sets and scenes I'm making more. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.